So there are a couple of special products that come up when we're multiplying polynomials that really we're more interested in later. For now, it's just gaining us a couple of seconds when we have to multiply. So this is really learning the pattern so that we know it later when we need to factor. But let's go ahead and learn it because it's fun, right? So x plus 1 times x minus 1. Let's go ahead and, and use our either FOIL technique or our running technique to multiply those out. So I'm going to go ahead and say FOIL. So first, x times x, outer, x times negative 1, inner, 1 times x, last, 1 times negative 1. What happens to those middle two x's? Right? One's positive, one's negative, and they add out. And all I'm left with is x squared minus 1. Let's try the next one. So again, first, x times x, outer, x times negative 2, inner, plus 2x, last, minus 4. So the minus 2x and plus 2x add away, x squared minus 4. Hmm. x plus 3 times x minus 3. Do you think you're ready to write it down without foiling it out? Maybe not yet. Let's do one more just to make sure. Go ahead and write down your guess. 1, 2, 3. Okay, here we go. First, x squared minus 3x plus 3x minus 9. Again, one positive, one negative. Those guys add out, and all I get left with is x squared minus 9. So this one, without writing down the intermediate steps, I know you can do it. I'll give you a head start. Go. x plus 4 times x minus 4, x squared minus 16. This special form is called the difference of squares. When you get to your factoring chapter, this is going to be part of a big section on factoring binomials. So the result, difference is the subtraction sign, and squares, both of those are nice perfect squares. So look what happened that went in. I have an x plus a number and an x minus the same number. That's the pattern you're looking for when you get to miss that first term. In fact, in general, if you have a plus b times a minus b, what comes out is a squared minus b squared. So that's one of the special forms. The other one that's handy to have in your back pocket is if you have, let's go ahead and start with fives, x plus 5, and I want that whole thing squared. What we mean by having a binomial squared is I need to multiply that binomial by itself two times. Please don't write x squared plus 25. If you happen to be in my class, you lose a whole lot of points for that mistake. It's my pet peeve. So let's go ahead and FOIL, see what we really need to get. So x times x, x times 5, 5 times x again and then 5 times 5. And then go ahead and gather your like terms. So we'll have x squared plus 5x plus 5x. Right there, that middle term, 10x. Make sure your product has it. If it doesn't have it, it's not right. So let's do another one longhand. x plus 6 quantity squared. So now I have x plus 6 times x plus 6. Again, foiling, x squared plus 6x plus the same 6x back plus 36. Notice I have two that are exactly the same. So those guys add together, 12x plus 36. There's your final answer when you have x plus 6 squared. There's that middle term. I can hear the question out there, what if it's a minus? Okay, well, let's take a look. What if I have x minus 7 quantity squared? So again, x squared minus 7x minus 7 more x's. Now I have a negative 7 times a negative 7. Remember, that's positive. 49. Go ahead and tidy x squared, negative 7x, minus 7 more x's, minus 14x, 
and plus 49. So let's see if we look at those three trinomials and where they started, if we can find the pattern. Right, so the 49, if I square root 49, I get my 7. And if I double the 7, I get the 14. And that 14x has the same sign as what was underneath. Does that work for my 6? Square the 6, 2 times the 6, same sign. Square the 5, 2 times the 5, same sign. Okay, so let's see. Can we write it down if I just have, I'm going to go back to pluses because they're prettier. x plus 8 squared, square the first, 2 times the product of these guys. So I have 2 times x times 8, 16x, and then square the last. Do you have to know how to do this? No, not really. You can get away without it. It can just save you a step. But again, it only saves you a step if you know how to do it. So a plus b quantity squared, the general form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Right. Lots of shortcuts in life and in math, but they're only worthwhile if you don't have to redo.